Well, I'm back on the project again another day and I got the tank pumped out and I managed to get it removed. <clears throat> I'm thinking I can set the other one right down in the hole there and everything should line up. <clears throat> I've been digging deeper and deeper and it's still black, but it's draining. The soil, the gravel's starting to drain good now. So I'm gonna just uh, dig as deep as I can. I've, I've had to kind of dig a, a little uh, ramp here so I could get down in here and reach as far as I could. Uh, and I'll just have to dig this out as I go back. I had to pile the dirt up over there for digging the tanks out and stuff, so I'll have to move that with my front end loader again. I had to rent the uh, excavator again. This is the biggest one they had available today. The one I had last time was 8,000 pounds. This one's 1,100, 11,000 pounds. But it doesn't seem to have any more reach than the 8,000 pound one did, but I needed every bit of it to get that tank out of there. That's a 1,250 gallon tank. And it's got sludge and stuff in it and rusted so bad there's hard, you can't hardly hook on to anything. I'm glad this thing had that, that grapple thumb up there. Anyway, I should be able to put this one in. I can lift it no problem and move with it. The only way I was able to get that other one out was to uh, set the, that, the front, uh, what was it, the dozer blade? I set that down on the ground <clears throat> and then I could use the, the boom and arm to drag it to where it is. I couldn't lift it. But like I say, I, I can lift this thousand gallon tank that's completely bone dry. I did have, have that one pumped out, but there's still sludge down in the bottom of it. And right now, I have to get the tractor and use that front end loader to move this dirt so I can get close enough to set that tank. The work never ends. Well, once again I had to get the dirt where I could reach it and then move it with my front end loader. Uh, but now I've got a path to bring that tank over here. And I've, I left the hole pretty much the bottom of it so the tank would just set in there and line up with my pipe. Uh, and this is getting pretty deep right here. That's probably about 12 feet down anyway. Well, sometimes life happens, and it's sure happening yesterday. I'm so tied up in other people's problems. I, I was out here till 2.30 in the morning getting this tank installed, and it, it was not easy. I thought it would be just setting it down into the previous hole, but it didn't line up. So I, well, long story short, I got it in there. <laughs> and I, I was actually kind of surprised that it was aligned this good when I woke up this morning. Now I just need to set the other drain pit in there and surround it with a bunch of drain rock which is you now probably a good three loads of that type of gravel that's over there. It's a, just the right size that, that allows for some kind of germination or something going on there. It's a biological thing I don't understand, but I've got oh, probably half of the old drain field still working there. And I just, I'll be adding this whole area to it. This tank will definitely be buying me some time because now I've got to use a thousand gallons of water uh, before it even comes out the other end. So I, I can, I'm not as pressed right now. I probably have a few weeks before I have to get the other rest of it done. And then I'll have to spread all this dirt do something with that, spread it around, and get it leveled back out after I get it filled with drain tile. This will kind of cover the area. 
the old tanks are really in bad shape. There's, and I'm kind of wondering what I'm going to do with these. I haven't quite decided yet whether to cut them up into little pieces and haul it off or uh, maybe just smash it down and bury it somewhere on the property. <laughs> That'll be the rest of the story when I get all the everything else done, all the back filling and, and straightening everything back out again. Anyway, there will be a third part to this.